Assalamu alaikum in this video we are going to solve the issue of TCP dial-up connection uh, refused issue uh, which mostly occurs in the uh, Kraken D when we access in its local so these are the config file which uh, have one endpoint for the client API Kraken slash cashiers and the backend has a route localhost colon 3000 or 127.0.0.1 uh, which is equivalent to localhost so now I'm creating uh, a build of that specific config so docker build dot dash for tag and the end is the api dash gateway is a tag name uh, just press enter and uh, it will going to create a build uh, inside the docker file there is a one image which we are pulling and the second is copying the local krakendy.json file into uh, the container etc uh, kraken d uh, directory so that's it now going to run our that specific uh, build image uh, by running docker run minus it for interactive mode minus p for port 8080 colon 8080 uh, so if he needs to change a port there just go to the config file and inside the port just rename any port you want just i i have added like 9000 i will mapping here in the console 9000 uh, colon 9000 so it will map the port to that specific so now i am now i am going to revert it to 8080 and after that i will pass a build uh, tag which uh, recently api dash gateway i have uh, entered in the build of docker image so press enter now our API is listening on port 8080 just check by calling the health and it gives us the status of ok so on the next I am going to check the cashier endpoint either it's giving the data or not so API slash crack candy uh, let's copy from the a client endpoint from config file uh, here in the endpoints there is a specific api crackandy slash cashier this is a client endpoint which will be accessing from crackandy side uh, it throws an error of connection refused so now we will going to solve this issue uh, with the help of our uh, um, system ip uh, actually it's currently uh, pointing to our 127.0.0 which is equivalent to localhost or uh, one important thing is that our kraken d also hosted on the localhost so that's why it's confused so now i am going to change uh, if you check on the uh, backend side localhost 3030 the api getting response properly uh, of cashier's data you can see on the screen and it gives properly but on the kraken d while calling that's endpoint on the backend it will not give us a data and it will throws a refused connection error so now going to solve this uh, for first of all goes to the command line uh, here in the console you can see 500 because of a refused connection so for solving this problem just open the command terminal and type ip config IP config inside the wireless LAN. I have you have noticed that IP before address there is a specific IP you can copy from it. I have uh, blurred it because for security purpose and I have copied IP from that specific part IPv4 from the VLAN section and uh, now I am replacing it inside uh, my. Uh, backend uh, uh, port where I am listening to localhost so I will replace it with my uh, IP here in listen and uh, I have replaced it now I am restarting my backend service server uh, my backend service uh, are on go so it's listening now uh, if I click open uh, now you can notice that the API endpoint is properly listening with a new IP 
so just replace the specific IP over in crackND JSON file as well inside the backend host so I have replaced it and I have blurred it for security purposes and uh, you can pass your system IP over there and then restart uh, your crackND or, or rebuild your image because every time you rebuild the image it will copy your co local crackend.json file into uh, docker image so that's why it will creating a build uh, every time so now run the docker with updated build now it's uh, listening on 8080 so let's go to the browser and hit the uh, connection reviews endpoints now it will uh, solve the issue so it gives us the specific data on the client side uh, that's it thank you so much for watching